In our next story, the chairperson of the National Commission on Civic Education, Kathleen Addy, is asking for a new narrative where politicians who preach violence are not rewarded. She says this is important as Ghana prepares for another major election. She's been speaking at the launch of the National Constitution Week at Sagnerigo in the Northern Region. The National Constitution Week was instituted in 2001 to commemorate the return of Ghana to a democratic rule. To mark this year's celebration, several activities were held, including the education of the masses on their civic responsibilities. Speaking at the launch in Tamale, chairperson of the NCCE, Kathleen Abe said, politicians who create division should not be voted into power. And so what we have now, which is peace and security, is the thing that we cannot put a price on. And we must strive and do our best to keep the peace and security of this country in all that we do. Other things that challenge that are challenged by democracy are things like um, politics of discord and disunity and divisiveness. We are about to go into the political season, and already we are seeing the signs of uh, politicians trying to be divisive threatening, issuing threats, and all of that. We must have a new political narrative where we, the people, will not reward such politicians by electing them. We have to ensure that the politics serve us. Politics is an engine of the democracy that we are practicing. We cannot do away with it, but it must serve us. We must not be enslaved by the politics of the people. The Northern Regional Minister Shani Alhassan Shaib commended the NCC's work in deepening the country's democracy. Madam Chairman, through these 30 years of this constitutional government, Ghana has made giant strides in consolidating democracy. Prominent among them include periodic elections and peaceful change of government over the period.